And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Dragon Mobilize. Going to be our first deck of the day. We're heading back over to ranked after two meme tier days um, with a pretty sweet one. We got two different Dragon Shivana decks. We'll play them first and last today just to kind of spread them out a little bit. The first one is going to be a ramp deck built around Mobilize and Herald of Dragons making our Dragon allies cost one less, and then of course all of our allies in hand cost one less. So we're going to be using those to be able to ramp into these expensive dragons faster than normal. And a main combo here is going to be uh, ramping into Eclipse Dragon and using the Daybreak part so that our next dragon or celestial unit you play would cost two less. And then being able to play a really and Soul the very next turn because um, it should cost two less. Like if we have seven mana for Eclipse Dragon, the next turn we'll have eight mana. And of course, 10 minus 8, or 10 minus 2, is 8. So it's a perfect curve of doing those two. And we could potentially do that a lot earlier. If we go like, you know, Herald of Dragons on turn 2 and Immobilize on turn 3, um, those can both reduce that by by 1. And, you know, maybe we do something else on turn 4 or turn 5, uh, or turn 4. But then until in turn 5, we could play Eclipse Dragon um, and like if, if both Eclipse Dragon and Aurelian Soul are in our hand, we could play this as early as turn five with two of those and then Aurelian Soul on turn six with those two. So that could be really cool. So it's possible to play that turn six. It's probably possible to play it turn five. Maybe not. Maybe it's not possible turn five, but at least turn six. But anyway, that's kind of what our deck's about. We got all these other cool dragons like Screeching Dragon and Infinite Mind Splitter, White Flame Protector, of course, Shivana being our dragon champion. For interaction, we're going to be doing a bunch of striking with our furious dragons. We got judgment, we got concerted strike, we got single combat. Um, we have another challenger with dragon guard lieutenant. We have some card draw with dragon's clutch. And then finally, just to help us out against aggro, because we're a slower ramp deck, we got some radiant guardians. All right, so that's our, that's our deck. That's what we got going on. Let's see how it does. We're going to go play our five games over in ranked. Um, so this one's a donation deck. We got three donation decks today, three viewer submitted decks, and that includes our two dragon decks. So we're gonna be trying out, there's a brand new KDA event, which is like a, a Riot Band, I guess. I don't know, I'm old. But we have their, their new board. We're gonna try this out, see what it's like. Looks like my opponent's got two, so both corners where we got our speakers rocking out, all right. Let's see, we're going to, what are we playing against, Burn? We're playing against Burn. All right, we're definitely mulliganing these two. I guess we keep Shivana single combat against Burn. Definitely really want one of our two ramp cards that we can play on turn two. That's what we're hoping to draw. Either Herald of Dragons or Mobilize. Didn't find either one. We're going to be pretty slow now. We really need one of those here on this turn so we could have Shivana the next turn. Wow. Alright, so we're a little slow. Maybe I need to mulligan the Shivana in single combat also? I don't know. We didn't... <laughs> I guess we didn't draw the best. Okay, so we got something in here. We need Shivana to die next turn. Not this turn, we need it to die next turn for the Radiant Guardian. If they have vision, I'm in a lot of trouble. I can't really play around it though. All right, so there's a lever on the right. Is that this little button right here? That changes the song. Puts me down to six. Oh, this little button under the mana? Oh, this thing. Aha, that thing right there. And change songs. Time for the money makers. Uh, yeah, okay. 
They're completely passing right now. I'll just pass as well. Kind of wanted to single combat right then. So Radiant Guardian can definitely get us back in this. Especially having all of these single combats. Concerted Strike. Stuff like that. This would put us to 9. Let's just try this. Awesome. Go, Radiant Guardian, go! Fire and fury burn in me. Oh. I'm feeling good. Alright, so I'll put this down to one health. What science without a little risk? And that's fine. We're going to probably just, you know, like attack, maybe have the Radiant Guardian die this next turn so we can play a new Radiant Guardian. So I'm kind of thinking. Uh, does he do this? this is my job here, Breeze. I still, I've been doing that. I've been going for for little for walks and jogs, like every day, um, with puppy. She's over in the other... She's not in the bed right here. She's in the other bed. There's two of them. Um, okay. She always gets so pumped up. She always gets so excited. That's what I usually do, like, after the stream. Um, as you all know, like, today... Today is my late stream day, but basically the other six days of the week stream at the same time. Well, I feel bad for I feel bad for casting that mobilize now because now I don't have concerted strike available right now. Where I would have rather concerted strike this thing than single combat, but gotta kill Jinx. Anyway, so yeah, like my normal like whenever I get done with the stream, I'll uh, finish editing like the the afternoon video and then. Uh, like while that's uploading, I go for a this is your run end. slash jog Hold back the darkness. slash walk with puppy, and she can't can't wait for that video to get done. So I don't really need to play Daybreak Dragon. Another day guarding the walls. Uh, we don't really need to make a really until cost too less. So I was gonna, I was gonna play knife, you know, play this first and then play Nightfall Dragon. So we get more dragons, but yeah, we had that game one. Okay, so from the opposite end of the spectrum here, aggro burn to Karma control. Karma with Lux. Now these cards are all pretty cool, but I think we want our early cards like our ramp and stuff like that. Yeah, get some ramp in here. All right, wait, we haven't, we, we did that one. Oh, is there only, is there only two? Wait, why can't I click to the next one? There we go. I guess you have to wait a little bit. Because I can mobilize him and make this Dragon Guard Lieutenant cost one. So my two options are do that. I cast Mobilize and then I cast Lieutenant and Herald of Dragons and cast both of those right now. Or I draw two dragons with Dragon's Clutch first. And next turn, Mobilize and drop these things. I should probably get the two dragons in my hand first. And so no, no reason to cast Mobilize right now. 
Um, because I can't, you know, I wouldn't be able to play anything else. So might as well just use the spell mana for mobilize next turn. Because just in case this was a unit that we would have been able to play. Dragon Guard Lieutenant died of Valor, then Hail the Dragons. Shroud the world in wings. Dragon Blood, Demacian Heart. Let the blood. Alright, so we're gonna have Eclipse Dragon this turn on turn five. We're gonna play a really soul next turn, turn six. I'm not really planning on attacking, I'm planning on passing. I, I want them to pass to me. I hope they do. So yeah, even though I didn't really do very much the first few turns, dropping Aurelian Soul on turn six should be pretty decent. That was kind of what I was setting up. Cool. Made them waste all that mana. No, they're they're not Karma Control with Scouts. They just played Remembrance. They got this. They're playing Valor. Like Karma Control plays Valor to help out Radiant Guardian. And it's also a spell. But it helps out Radiant Guardian. The Star Forger himself. You rang. Everywhere I go, the light follows. Illuminate the enemy. Don't necessarily want to take another four. Take four or Herald block with Herald the Dragons. should know to stay out of the way. All right, so my, my plan is, of course, Dragon Guard Lieutenant, Screeching Dragon, and Single Combat, which is why I need the Herald of Dragon still alive. No dragon fire only so you can play a burst spell like a barrier, level up Lux. Yep. Getting really punished for not blocking with the 1-1. One, one. So going after Shivana, I can level up Shivana with a single combat. But then how do I deal with Lux? No more holding back. No I'm hoping they don't have another Prismatic Barrier. Another Lux's Prismatic Barrier. I think that's about the only card. I mean, they could have Nopify. It's basically Lux's Prismatic Barrier and Nopify. Those are about the only cards that they would be playing. All right, well, that turn went very well for them. They only had three mana, so they didn't have the mana for deny. Come hither, you beasts of glory. Correct. So they, they played a burst spell and then they passed to themselves. They passed over to me after playing the burst spell.
Dang. They're out single combating me. Basically, do I want to play, like, do I want to play around Deny and just play, like, one of these other things? Or... I want to be able to attack with Radiant Guardian, but I can't really attack with a 4-5 into a 5-5, five five, right? I'm just going to do this. Of course they have Deny. This, whole, this entire game has been, <laughs> what's the best thing they can have they've had it? This has been pretty frustrating. You know, even from like their remembrance getting the 5-5 five five with um, Scout so they get to attack multiple times. That was the worst possible for me. Everything's been worst possible so far. You will be scoured from this land. You cannot win. If we both had another 100 life, I think that we would win, even how powerful Karma and Lux are. I don't think they can handle Aurelian Soul. That attack worked out great for me. Gaining, you know, gaining the four. That definitely worked out great for me. Where there is life, there is hope. All right, this is super scary. So now, do they have another Deny? Do they have another deny? Why have they I hope that answer is no. This definitely costs 13 right now. We have a dragon in play. Uh, that answer is probably yes, though. But maybe they don't. Maybe they don't have another deny. If they don't, they pretty much lose. But if they do, they pretty much win. Okay, so they're gonna be just, looks like they're just playing other spells that, that will level up their lux, get them final sparks, be able to take down these things. Oh wow, get multiple three twos with a stun? Okay, actually not, so they're, they're gonna win here. The second they're, yeah, these concussive bombs. Cause I, I can't block these, I'm at eight. GG's. That'll do it. Well, this certainly isn't my fault. All right, Tom Kench, Soraka. This should be a much easier matchup. All right, mulligan all that. I could see keeping one Aurelian Soul. Because we do want an Aurelian Soul. But we need our, you know, we want our ramp. No, we weren't blown out. Yeah, it was a close game. Close game. I don't know, what is this? Are you are you talking about why is Soraka Tom Kench popular? I serve my people with pride. I don't know, it is pretty popular though, isn't it? Yeah, we don't have the best interact. You know, we we don't have again don't have our single combats or concerted strikes. Could use those. They are nothing. They could have pale cascade to have those trade. Okay, or they're just gonna have astral protection. Start healing this up. It's 
It's a big responsibility to shepherd stars. We're all family here. You know, Mind Splitter, Judgment, hopefully those are pretty good. I don't think we need any more dragons. I wonder if this deck needs, like, our dragon mobilized deck here. I wonder if we need more fight spells? I kind of don't like the judgments at all, to be honest. I kind of don't like the two judgments. I think that maybe just getting, like, three of the, the dragon fight card, you know, they cost three mana. I feel like we should just have three of those. We should have like three single combat and three of those and three concerted strike. I think judgment's too expensive because like our dragons are so expensive already. Love that draw. Concerted strike. Now we don't get to concerted strike. Hmm. And strafing strike. We don't get to really. Tremble before me. Strafing strike, that's the one. Osu, help! We're all family here. Alright, how do we want to do this? Not sure exactly how I want to do it. I can either go concerted strike on the Star Shepherd. I maybe just do this. Just strafing strike, kill this other thing. We'll let Shivana die. I feel better when you feel better. From the skies. What's up, ABR? ABR? Guess I'm just passing. I'm not worried about. I'm. You know, right now we're the most worried about the Star Spring. I'm not worried about taking damage. I'm more worried about Star Spring than anything else. So I don't know which one of these that I want to stun. Like, which one do I want to block? Do I want the Boxtopus to have to block? I can heal that thing. Obviously they can have the box post challenge my screeching dragon, it stays alive. But then I want to get in it in combat after this. Alright, I definitely think that we need to take out Judge. Like, okay, so ABR, how's Judgment been for you? Because it looks, it looks way too expensive to play. I am not very happy with this Judgment right now. Like, if this is Strafing Strike, we'd be able to play Strafing Strike, and I, I think that's what we need. I think we need three mana fight, not eight mana fight. We're gonna die to the Star Spring. Can't kill these things fast enough. How do you have a dragon? I guess they're just playing it. Can't play Judgment and Concerted Strike. Can play one of the two. I 
have to kill the loun lounging lizard though. Even though I'd like I'd like to kill Infinite Mind Splitter, but we gotta kill a lounging lizard. We can't let them attack and heal the lounging lizard and, and keep healing it and stuff like that with the Star Spring. The skies darken with their approach. But we're not dead yet, I guess. So like they're not they're not attacking, so that's you know, that's good. Game's not over yet. Challenge Dragon. So 17, so they're about, about to be at 19. I guess I can play the mobilize first, but no, let's just play this. Obliterate enemies with three or less power. Yeah, we need to obliterate the landmarks. I wonder if it's better to take the elusive there. Have the stars been giving you much trouble, Hakan? Nothing I can't handle. Oh dear, come back! That's only one. This will make you feel better. It's just gonna heal. I guess they draw the card now. I say that's just gonna heal at the end of the turn anyway. No. Well, I guess we we can obliterate that right before it heals, but. Probably have something to heal it. Ooh, I love that draw. That could be good. Because this this checks round end to win the game. It doesn't just win the game immediately. So yeah, round end, they'll win the game on the Star Spring, so we have to win the game this turn. The can't play their game. So the Scourge is going to give all these things over, you know, overwhelm. Kind of, I'm saving this Cosmic Ray, see if they like play anything else. Play like one blocker and then I attack. This scourge was a great draw, but so, I mean, so was that obliterate. This, this worked out. Pretty sure this worked out. Let's we'll see. I think we got this. Yes, we do. Got the war trumpets out. GG's. We're two and one. Awesome. They need just they need just a little bit more damaged allies, you know, to be able to heal. Be able to heal this a little bit more. Almost got there. Yeah, you're stuck. Okay, you've been struggling against aggro. I, I mean, I think I'd I'd rather have strafing strike than spacey sketcher against aggro. I think strafing strike's more important. All right, so we're we're going to so we're going with that. 
Um, you know, for those of you on YouTube, what we just did right between games, we were adding in a three strafing strike. We took out two judgments and one dragon's clutch. So we'll see how that goes. We're gonna keep the screeching dragon. Um, I could actually see dragon's clutch be actually kind of good in this matchup. And we're gonna keep a concerted strike to help take down these, these larger things. Maybe I should mulligan screeching dragon, because it doesn't it doesn't match up against either of these. It is great against weirding stones though. That's what I was kind of thinking with the Screeching Dragons. Great against Weirding Stones. The skies darken with their approach. Ooh. That's gonna slow us down. Please no Weirding Stones on their side. Please no Weirding Stones on their side. Just pass. Nothing escapes my okay, that's that's fine. I'll we'll take that over weirding stones. So yeah, we got this strafing strike here instead of judgment. Huh? Still passing. Cool. Still have nothing to play. They could definitely be setting up ruination. I could definitely see me playing Eclipse Dragon here, then they play Ruination. Let's go with this. The onus is on like they have to play something. Like there are ten cards, they're gonna play something. Okay, so no ruination. We're playing that for a uh, Aurelian Soul next turn. What will you have? It is possible for them to have two mana removal plus Ruination to take out Aurelian Soul. But they're going to be forced into having that. If they don't have that, they're in trouble. And then even if they do have that, we still get a um, Celestial card. Plus, we have more Aurelian Souls coming. So, I, yeah, yeah, we just do it. This is a tough call. The Supernova obliterates twice. But I want to get this... I think I want to get this Immortal Fire, because I'm expecting the two-mana removal ruination bit right now. So I want to play the Immortal Fire this next turn before our other Aurelian Souls. We play that while attacking. Yeah, we have combat tricks for days. So the consideration is I single combat, they troll chant, and then I single combat again and kill Trundle. And my Immortal Fire dies once. Or... So like I'm trading single combat, single combat for Trundle, troll chant, and one death on the Immortal Fire. Or I wait next turn, I play Aurelian Soul and then have single combat to go along with Aurelian Soul next turn. Because like they, they play Ice Pillar, then I play Soul. And their Trundle could be big enough that it kills my Aurelian Soul. I think I'm going to go this route. Wow, no Troll Chant. Well, that makes things a lot better. Yeah, that makes things a lot better.
They didn't even they didn't even challenge? My, how they stare. A little surprised by that. Getting all this invoke. My stars guide all travelers onward. Unspeakable horror is an incredible card. <laughs> you know, it creates Eclipse Dragon, it, it creates all this other stuff. It is an incredible card. What do we have? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, we have ten cards in here. We gotta play something. So I guess we're gonna have to play this Mobile Lines. That only affecting like three cards in my deck. I assume that'll still affect Aurelian Soul. I guess I should have played the Herald of Dragons first, shouldn't I? That would have cleared up the spot in my... I'm gonna burn this card now. Yeah, I guess I need to play that Herald of Dragons first. Whoops. Should... That was me playing that a little too fast. Could have had another Concerted Strike. Um, not really. They haven't had the, the best window to play... play one right yet, not really. I was planning on playing the Scourge, and so I'm just kind of playing this first. We cost zero, give them priority again, see what they do. So my Herald of Dragons would have been dead, but it would be out of my hand. It would have just died to that with anyone else. So they have to kill one of my top three things to keep Aurelian Soul from leveling up. Okay, leveled up Aurelian Soul. I am incentivized to attack before Ruination. Or they can still, you know, Vengeance, obviously. So basically, I can play a single combat to save seven life on the Scourge. Sure. They can't play another... They can't play another big threat this turn. I don't have to be worried about like a Trindamir or anything coming in soon. All right, I'll just trade single combat for Flash Freeze. Sounds good with me. Flash Freeze is going to ruin single combat later anyway. Get a couple of cards out of my hand. I'm not gonna play Shivana because of Ruination. I think I have a White Flame Protector. Yeah, they've got rid of all my Aurelian Souls. They did a good job of that. Dragon blood, heart. Let the blood boil, half dragon. Oh, right. Shivana doesn't have Fury right now. Shivana only has Fury on the other side. What's the fire breath this time? A 
Should have gone the other way to grow the white flame protector. I went I went this way to try to level up Shivana. What's the fire breath this time? And get that 5-6 out of here. Should be a 5-3. Come on, bad. them down to two. This should kill them. Yep. So we'll just have we'll just have these fight. See, strafing strike. Strafing strike winning the game where judgment wouldn't have done anything. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if judgment really would have done much at all this game. But that strafing strike got rid of that thing, so the grass the undying. Didn't do any damage. And there we go. Three and one. All right, playing against a similar kind of deck, I guess. It's they, you know, same regions. They got a really in soul. There's Soraka Garen. That's gonna be a little different. How do we want to do this? We're gonna just keep Concerted Strike. Cool. I like Herald Dragons. I like Mobilize. I, should, I shouldn't be playing Herald. No, I shouldn't be playing Herald. Well, I guess we got rewarded with the White Flame Protector. They'll be able to kill the Herald, but we'll have this to be able to, so they don't get free gems. Cascade, so bleh. This thing's still five three. I can I can uh, strafing strike, kill the protege. So basically, I can I can spend three mana and kill the protege if I want. These will still trade, or I or I save my thing and concerted strike their mountain goat. I kind of would rather have concerted strike for something else. I don't even feel like I need the strafing strike right now either. I'm just gonna let this happen. I don't like cat. I I really like drawing an additional card before mobilize. I like casting that as late as possible. But we would be wasting two mana. See, I really wish I would have waited for mobilize. Um, but if if I just if I waited on mobilize, we would have five and three, right? So basically, our mobilize cost one mana by playing it. Then um, a little punished with it being a really in soul here. But the, the good part about doing it then is that I had Screeching Dragon and Strafing Strike together. Why do I never play around Pill Cascade? It's a fair question. I think I could do a much better job playing around Pill Cascade than what I'm currently doing. Strafing Strike Soraka doesn't kill Soraka, so we don't get the Fury, so it wouldn't have done anything last turn I'm talking about, like whenever we had the 4-5. Cool. I cannot cast White Flame Protector. 
You may be thinking, well, you could play White Flame Protector and Concern Strike this turn. Well, no, we can't because we need to have 8 mana for Aurelian Soul this turn. Force me into attacking. Hey, what's up, Boot? Yeah, we got we got our KDA board. That we can, and we have three tracks here with this thing that we can change it. My, how they stare. This is the one we've listened to the least. We switch over to this one. Alright, concerted strike here. Um And we'll take seven. Yeah, each each board that you that you uh, whatever board you use has a different song, but usually it does it usually just has its own song, its own music, and and you don't get to choose. This is like the one. This is a brand new board came out today from KDA. Where um, let's see, there we go. See, it says KDA over here in the corner, where uh, you get to actually choose what you want. With this one a little bit. All right, let's see. So they are killing my Aurelian Soul with Concerted Strike plus single combat. I don't know. It's messy. What they got going on over there? It's messy. Do I? Okay, how is this gonna work? So this. The cosmos will collapse Okay, so the single combat's gonna eat eat my spell shield, and then this will strike over here. Because basically I'm thinking I can just kill the other one, can't I? Yeah, and we can just kill both their dragons. Do they have concerted strike, single combat, and something else? What? Just had another single combat that takes out that other thing. My other dragon. They think themselves that was some dragons fighting right there. I do love an audience. Um, yeah, today. Yep, today's the first time I've heard that song Pop Stars by KDA. It was pretty fire. Yeah, that was that was quite the stack right there. Alright, let's see. Okay, yeah, they're just basically conceding. Okay, well. GG's. Alright, Dragon Mobilize, four and one. See you next time, Runeterra. So we didn't play against an aggro deck after making the change with the Strafing Strike. But I really like that change. I think the Strafing Strike is awesome in here. It was good for us killing, like, the Soraka that last game, and or game five and then game four, you know, did that. I mean, it's basically, you know, it's just more single combats and I think that card's amazing. Um, how we won against the aggro deck earlier was Radiant Guardian with multiple single combats and Strafing Strike kind of gives you that opportunity as well. I just think Judgment's too expensive in this deck where we already have such a high curve and we're trying to play all these dragons. Because I think a lot of times against like the aggro decks, you have you have to like, you know, you save your spell mana from the first few turns because you're not doing very much. And then basically you need to like drop Radiant Guardian or start dropping these dragons and then be able to fight and clear out multiple things like right away. That's what I'm kind of thinking. Like even like Screeching Dragon with like Strafing Strike, like even if you have that against aggro where you can you can fight something that's smaller, you heal your dragon too, and it gets the Fury, so it gets like three health back. Um, you know, it allows you to start clearing up boards pretty quickly. But obviously the three Radiant Guardians are going to be the most important thing against Acro. So yeah, there we go. I like so I like that change. I think that's a I think that's a really good change. Um, so ABR, um, yeah, keep keep trying that one out. Let me know how that goes. Uh, but yeah, yeah, we got the full three Eclipse Dragon in here. That's a big part of our deck was you know Eclipse Dragon ramp into a really Soul. Got to do that multiple times. This deck felt pretty nice. It, it definitely did. You know, like it, yeah, this deck felt pretty nice. I liked it. Uh, Nothing wrong with a good 4-1 for sure over in ranked. Fun to play. Dragons are sweet. 
um, yeah, liked it. All right, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments. Let me know what you think of the strafing strike over judgment or just anything else about the deck, anything else about the channel. What do you want to see? What kind of decks you want to see? Uh, you know, any anything like that. Love to see those comments. All right, but thank you so much for watching some Dragon Mobilize, and I'll see you for the next video.